Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Centering a DIV vertically within its parent container is a common task in web development. There are several methods to achieve this, and the best approach may vary depending on the specific use case and the CSS properties you want to use. Below, I'll outline several methods to vertically center a DIV, along with code examples. Hashtag 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 method 1, Flexbox. Flexbox is one of the simplest and most widely supported ways to center elements. Hashtag 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 method 2, Grid. CSS Grid is another powerful layout system that can be used to center elements. Hashtag 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 method 3, Absolute Positioning. Using absolute positioning can also achieve vertical centering, though it may require a bit more setup. Hashtag 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 method 4, using table display. This method involves using the table display properties, which can also effectively center content. Hashtag 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 conclusion. Each method of centering a DIV vertically has its own advantages and is suited for different scenarios. Flexbox and Grid are generally the most modern and flexible options, providing a lot of control over layout. Absolute positioning is useful in more controlled situations where the size of the content is known, while the table display technique is a fallback for older browsers. Choose the method that best fits your project's needs.